friends, welcome back to my channel and to this Galentine's edition makeup tutorial. I'm gonna use all women-owned makeup brands and we are gonna do a Valentine's look. I'm doing this in collaboration with my two friends, Amy and Karen. Can you see them? I hope you can see them. Do follow them as well and do check out the Valentine's looks that they're doing. We decided that we wanted to do like a Valentine's video together. Like these are my friends. I talk to them on Instagram and like in DMs. We have like a little group chat going on. I talk to them every day about everything, not only makeup. And we talked about doing a Valentine's thing. This is going to be more if you like more makeup. <laughs> I just feel like doing something more more. And I did already do my foundation and my... Well, I have them in front of me. So I did use the uh, Juvia's Place uh, foundation. This one is in Alexandria. This is actually women-owned as well, and so is this, this one. I used the Jouer concealer in Chiffon. I'm trying to still use this a bit, even though I don't like it amazingly under my eyes. I'm using the Your Cosmetics uh, lip primer. I'm using the Hourglass powder under my eyes. I don't think that this is women-owned though. And I'm also using the Jaclyn setting powder in Brighten Up all over my face. So, we are gonna do, let's start with the with the cheeky cheekies. Yes, yes, that's what I'm going with. I wanna use, I'm gonna use this bronzer. Ooh! I'm gonna use the bronzer from the Gerard Cosmetics Starlet Palette in Honeymoon. And this is the bronzer shade right here, and it is the shade that I've been using the most in this palette. I do think that this is a really nice neutral toned uh, shade for bronzing. Gerard Cosmetics is owned by Jen Gerard, and she also has a YouTube channel that she is posting on. And the proceeds from that uh, channel does go to two charities uh, within her uh, close area. So I'm just gonna bronze up a bit. Okay, so I just bronzed up my face a little bit and I feel like I am a bit more bronzed. I'm gonna go in with some blush and this is from Melt Cosmetics. This is Genesis. This is actually a highlighter, but this works as a blush on me because it is a peach to a gold and it's more like meant to be a highlighter on a deeper skin tone. So I think that this would be a be- there's a cat hair in this brush. I think this would be a beautiful highlighter if you do have a darker skin tone, but if you don't, it's also a really pretty blush. Mel Cosmetics is owned and run by Laura and Dana, two girls that were friends and had a love for makeup and decided that they wanted to start a brand together. I really do love Melt as a brand and I love the products that they have. I think that that is really, really cute. I'm gonna use a highlighter from Makeup Geek. This is in Psychedelic. It's one of my favorite highlighters. This brand is created by Marlena. She created this brand quite a long time ago. I know that she was in some drama lately. She had disagreements with another, like, a YouTube friend of mine that I've actually met in real life, which is Tina from The Fancy Face. And then she put a copyright strike on one of Tina's videos, and I didn't like that at all. And I'm so happy she took it away and that she apologized to Tina. I've met Tina. Tina is such a lovely person, and I really felt bad for her when all all of this happened. I've never met Marlena, I've only talked to her. And I also gotten a really good like impression of uh, Marlena, so I do hope that it was like a lapse of judgment that caused her to do something like that. Because it's just never fun to see like two people that you respect and like have a falling out because I really do respect Marlena and I really do respect Tina. So happy at least that hopefully they will both put it behind them. I mean, even though sometimes people like apologize, it doesn't mean that the other person has to accept the apology. It could just mean that, you know, you, you like, you move on and you just not forget that it happened, but just like put it behind you and try to make new friends instead because not everyone can like everyone but it's always so painful to see a public falling out like that but I'm happy that it worked out for somehow the best so that is my opinion about that I totally understand if you disagree with me but try to keep it civil in the comments you know I'm never like upset when you don't agree with me I'm just try to keep it civil remember that we're all human here This is the Slay All Day setting spray. This one is my favorite scent, Rose. I was just like, did I get Rose? This one, again, is from Gerard Cosmetics. I love the Rose one. I think it's so nice. Now, am I gonna do lips first? I feel like I wanna have lips because they're a bit dry. I'm gonna use a lip liner from MAC. I actually don't think I have a lip liner from a women-owned brand. Is that crazy? That's a bit crazy, but I'm gonna use the lip gloss from Lethal Cosmetics. Lethal Cosmetics is owned by a German, a German girl. I don't know her name. Wait, I need to find out. It actually says on the website that it's created by married couple Anna and Kay, 
and I didn't know that there was a married couple. I thought that this was a woman-owned brand because I've only had discussions with Anna because they do send me PR. Uh, so it's not technically 100% women-owned brand, but I mean, at least 50%. We're cheating a little bit, but to be fair, I thought it was 100% women-owned because I had only talked to Anna, so... It's pretty cool, I guess. I do love this lip gloss. This one is a Nova. It's the lightest one. I think it's stunning. It just makes your lip look so juicy. I think I uh, only have eyeshadows and lashes left. So I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona Love Palette. And I wouldn't be surprised if my friends would use this as well in this video. Wouldn't be surprised at all. This will be a first impression for me. I bought this out of Sephora Sweden. So weird though when ordering from Sephora Sweden. I kind of feel like I'm, I need to stop. They didn't have the cheek palette in stock even though I bought this the day was released as it was released. So I'm kind of thinking that the cheek palette, may, did they only have like two? Because not that many people are ordering from Sephora Sweden. So I'm kind of surprised at that that sold out before seven in the morning. It's some, uh, something's fishy about that. But this is what the palette looks like. I was first thinking like, cause I love how this one is looking, the pinky shimmery one, it's beautiful. But I always do pinks and reds, so. <clears throat> Maybe instead I'll do something with these shades here and maybe include this Commitment. It seems to be a dark plum. This looks exactly like the shade in the Nabla Mystic palette. Like a dark plum. I think this is going to probably look the same on the eyes as that one as well. I'm just guessing here. So I think I'm going to do something purpley silver instead because I always do reds and pinks. But I love that. Don't come for me. I mean, Natasha Denona is owned by... Natasha Denona, a, I think she's Israeli makeup artist, but I do think she lives in US now because <laughs> things do take some time to get here to Europe and it's not always that easy to get a hold of it, but I mean, I did get the palette as well. We'll see if I end up getting the cheek palette also. I, honestly, I don't know, but yeah, this is going to be a first impression anyway. So I'm using the purple just in the outer corners uh, to begin with. Or maybe I'll take it in a bit here. Just feather it in. I'm not 100% like convinced about this purple shade. I think, oh, I got some lip gloss on this one. I think you might need at least, I mean, it's buildable, but it's definitely not the best purple shade I've ever tried in my life. I'm gonna use the Trust one now, which is the first one, the Dream, was one of those um, gel to gel to powder. And this Trust one is a, a, more of a plummy purple. It builds really good on this gel to powder and it is a, a, a traditional powder shadow. So I'm just gonna deepen up this this a bit. Just in the outer part, I think. I do like them together a lot though. They work really nice together. That looks super nice. I'm gonna use some of this, like the dream, the lighter purple under my eyes as well. And now I'm just deepening up this outer part with some of that dark purple. I'm using a really small, like almost flat brush, but you can blend a bit with this as well. This one is from Nabla, uh, Lash Line Smudger. And that is definitely what it is, Lash Line Smudger. It's really nice for detailed work when you want to put down a lot of color, but still be able to move it around a bit as well. And then it's nice to connect the upper and the lower part so you don't have a gap. I love how this is looking. These are just the two shades here. It's Dream and Trust. Those are the only two shades that I have used to create this look and I think it looks great. I'm gonna use a little bit of commitment just in the outer part to see if I can deepen this up just a little bit. It feels like this one has the same consistency as Dream, which is a gel to a powder. Yeah, I'm just gonna use a little bit over here to deepen this outer part. Okay, I think now it's time for the blind shade, which is a silver. I think I'm just gonna use my finger because I don't want it, ooh, I don't want it to be too, like, thorough. Ooh, that is very cool. Hmm, I like this a lot. It is a true silver but not like a tarnished one just like a true bright one Ooh. let me use a little bit in my inner corners as well maybe i need to spray this because i'm not using my finger now one second 
if I like want it to be as intense and I'm just gonna put a little bit here under as well. I think that this looks super pretty. I really really like how this is looking with the silver and the purple together with this glossy lip. I am gonna do some mascara. Ooh. Cat hair, and I go come back. <laughs> Obviously, I'll fix my hair as well. And we can do some lashes because I do have some women owned lash brand to show you. Not show you, I've used it before. I'm rambling. Okay, hair is done, and all is done. I'm gonna use an eyeliner as well. I forgot. This is an eye pen by Linda Halbei, and this one is in Daring Mood. I honestly don't know if she still has this purpley one, but I love Linda Halbei. She is an amazing woman. She is a Swedish makeup artist, and she created a brand, and she's just kicking ass. So, really love her eye pencil, so I'm gonna use this purpley one. Don't know if she still has this purpley one. But the other ones are great too. Okay, there we are, purple waterline. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Lashes in Sasha. I have them, like they're here with glue on. <laughs> they are like really dramatic and flared and pretty. I really do like the Huda Beauty Lashes. I think they are really good and I love the band because it's flexible and soft but still a bit sturdy so it keeps like, it keeps the lashes fresh and nice for a really long time. I usually use my Huda Beauty lashes for like 20 times until I have to like get rid of them, until they like fall apart. So they're not like the super flimsy ones, the ones that usually break really, really easily. These have a bit of a sturdier band, so they, but they are still very flexible. And I feel like they bend really nicely around the eyes. So for me, I really like the band. I've heard some people not liking that they're a bit thicker, but... Personally, I like when they're just a tiniest bit thicker because it means they're gonna hold up so much longer So much longer. So let me put those on and that's gonna be the finished look. Okay, so that is the finished look The lashes are on. I'm looking it's all kinds of cute. I love this look. I think I look so fun It's like a glam my little pony. I could totally go on a date with this on. I probably will actually I'm gonna keep this on because me and my hubby might be going to the movies tonight I wanted to decide uh, the movie and then he wanted to decide the movie <laughs> I think he's gonna win <laughs> Because I decided last time, and I think it's his turn to decide, he wanted to see that, um, uh, the war movie that had just a, like, an, like, year? Did you see it? Was it any good? I already probably saw it when you were seeing this, or maybe I actually did get to decide. Anyways, thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to check out Karen and Amy's looks as well if you want to get some, like, inspiration for Valentine's looks. And obviously, this is Galentine's, so if you just want to go out and have a couple of drinks, if you do not have a significant other, this is the perfect going out for a couple of drinks, going out for a pizza, going out with the garbage. I'm not here to judge you. And hopefully you liked the video and hopefully you check out my friends. And that was it. That was everything. If you want to see the details on the look and what I used, I always leave everything I used down in the down bar uh, together with some links if you want to find out where to shop them. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!